What's up guys, welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin. We also have Austin Mansky and Eric Munz. So, Austin fought this last weekend, picked up a win, uh, but there's two things I feel like helped that fight a lot. He did two things that we do before class, almost every MMA class, and it's crossface, wizard, sprawl. Will you guys show us the drill real quick? So you notice, Eric's right here. He's got what looks like a single leg up on the cage. Austin sinks that cross uh, wizard in and get right here where you can see. You notice he's clamped up on his own leg right there. Okay, now let's go to the cross face. There we go. And on the cross face, I always say, try to dig that right into their nose. Uh, it kind of turns into a neck crank, but because we don't have anything locked up, we just keep cranking it. And then he can turn his hips out and he can kind of sprawl that back leg just like so. Let's do it one more time. So we're going to go wizard cross face sprawl wizard cross face sprawl and we're right out and we got some footage of him doing this in the actual fight as well and we've been starting every class doing this and the key to this is like austin probably did this uh, i think it was two three times if the guy in your mma fight gets his first takedown he's got tons of energy for ground and pound submissions all that kind of stuff but austin inevitably stuffed him, stuffed him, stuffed him. The guy finally gets Austin down, but the guy's tired. And Austin lands into some good moves. On one of the takedowns, Austin was on bottom, and he does a cage walk. Let's do the cage walk without the, your partner real quick. Go ahead, Austin. This is another drill we do before class. Just cage walk, back and forth. You go left and right, right to left, and now do it with a somersault, Austin. There we go, let's go to the other side. And these are just drills you can do to make sure that when you're in these sticky situations, I was screaming, cage walk, cage walk. Now, did you do it because you could hear me or did you just know to do it? A little bit of both. I could hear you screaming it and then yeah. I also just naturally just went right into it. He doesn't have to think about it. He does it before class all the time. Eric, will you get on top of him now? So if you look at what's going on here, he's just gonna dig his foot right up onto the cage. Now, one thing guys to think about, You'll see refs do this. That big toe sometimes will clamp in and you cannot grab the cage. You cannot grab the cage with your hands. You cannot grab the cage with your feet. So you have to keep your feet like this. And you don't want to leave a toe in the cage. You like, just leave the ball of your foot. So get that foot flat. There we go. Now just step the other one up. There it is. So if your feet are flat like this, you're fine. Just keep walking and running through. So go ahead and go all the way through with it, Austin. There we go. And we can just run that position and do a switch uh, kind of a sweep right there off that cage. Do it one more time. So these are a couple of things that we've made a habit in our MMA class. And congratulations, Austin, on your win. It was a huge factor on why Austin won. He also got suplexed. He put it right into a Kimura, used that Kimura to get the position change, and then got some sort of bulldog or schoolyard crazy rear naked choke but awesome job austin congratulations anything you want to say on these moves just keep drilling them keep practicing them that's yeah. the only way and then they come natural and it's just you don't even think about it at all fantastic thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe